So guys, I'm excited to take you to Kalgoorlie. It's my hometown. It's one of the biggest mining towns in the whole of Australia. Are there many good leases that you know of around here for sale? Yeah, there's a few. I'm still working on teeing it all up, but we'll get you something. Fred and I will finish off the research. So we're going to be following leads, basically. Exactly right. So, what, what, so what's the plan? You guys are extremely lucky. You actually get to go visit the super pit. The super pit is insane. It's yeah. just like 700,000 ounces of gold a year. Let's go check out this super pit. Kalgoorlie Gold was first discovered in 1893 by old-timer Patty Hannon. It became known as the Golden Mile and was the richest square mile of ground on the planet. And it's still being mined today. Holy cow. What the f The machines look like ants out there. It's the biggest hole I've ever seen. Where the Golden Mile once stood is now the Super Pit, a 1,900-foot-deep hole that's still paying out. See, you could see down the side of the pit all those old holes from where all the old miners' shafts were. And these are all old-timer workings, the tunnels and the walls? Yeah. The remains of 2,100 miles of old-timers' tunnels still pepper the walls of the pit. Kelly, this is Parker. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kelly's one of the managers here at Super Pit. So she's actually going to um, take Parker and you, Danny, into the pit today. Sweet. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Have oh. fun. Take pictures. Fun. See you, later. Kel. See, see you, Dan. See you, buddy. See you Have fun. Now, we are way down here, huh? Everything about the Super Pit is supersized. This is a lot different looking from down here than at the lookout. Yeah, she's definitely deeper. Including how they extract gold on an industrial scale. First step, blasting. What we're firing today is here. So these are all, these are loaded holes already, huh? Yeah, there's a mixture of ammonium nitrate and fuel oil. And do you mix the explosives on site? Yep, so that's what that does. That's a mobile manufacturing unit. Oh, it's, it does it right in the truck. Yep. So cool. How far away will the shovel and everybody, every, all the equipment have to be? So usually we have about 200 meters clearance for, for equipment gotcha. and 400 for personnel. Gotcha. The explosives team uses a long reach drill to bore a 37 foot hole in the rock. Then lower a detonator to the bottom. 374 pounds of liquid explosive fills each drill hole. Up to 500 holes are linked to a central firing station. The detonation shatters around 350,000 tons of gold-rich rock into small pieces. Attention all personnel, those not associated with the blast, please maintain radio silence till the final all clear is given. 437 yards from the detonation zone, Parker prepares to trigger the explosion. Large blasts at the super pit use the equivalent of up to 150 tons of TNT. So the radars will be on that wall. Um, what we're looking at is that we haven't got any wall movement and that we can go back into the pit right. quickly and get back into it. Gotcha. So if that alarm goes off, we've got to wait two hours before we can go back in. Gotcha. It makes our process look pretty simple. We just dig some dirt out of the ground and wash it with some water. Right, Ben, you clear to fire? Right, all you need to do is when he says fire now, just push the two fire buttons out, hold them down until it beeps. And that's it, look up or you'll miss it. All right. Do you know which two buttons you're pressing? Firing now. All right, here we go. Fire it up! That was a wicked delay on when you see it to when you hear it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Well done. That's Cheers. awesome. This is the biggest gold mining outfit he's ever seen, and that's definitely going to be exciting for him, for sure. All right, let's do it. Next stage of the operation, remove the blasted rock. 
Parker rides shotgun on an $18 million excavator. We are now in the land of dinosaurs. The amount of rock you guys moved must just be crazy. Got to keep those blasters busy, right? Exactly. That's a big load. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Everything here is just ginormous. This thing's huge. It is huge. The bucket can take 70 to 80 ton. Um, 70 to 80 ton, huh? Yeah, that's, wow. a, that's a good full bucket if you can get one. Right. Uh, 423 ton rock trucks haul the ore. To give you an idea, Parker's rock truck is 40 tons. That's the difference we're talking about. I recommend earplugs. We get a load uh, on side and uh, haul it out, mate. Awesome. What's the payload of these? Um, we average about 250, 260 tons. These scoops are like crazy. This is just a whole different scale. The last stop is a colossal mill, which at its height in 2017, extracted 700,000 ounces of gold, a recovery rate 100 times greater than Parker's in the Yukon. The scale of this place is insane. This uses around 12 megawatts of electricity, so that's enough to power 12,000 homes. That's just this thing? Just this mill alone. The pit's huge, but this mill, I've never seen so many pipes and so much cable and so many tanks going in every possible direction. That pit alone produces like 10 times the gold that all the miners in the Yukon produces. It's pretty cool. Someday, I hope to be involved in something like that. I'm Tyler Marnie from Gold Rush Parker's Trail and you're watching Discovery. Hit subscribe now to avoid missing out on the latest content. Thanks guys.